Managing mobile networks has never been simple, but the massive densification required by 5G increases the complexity exponentially. So many more links, so many more devices, so many more potential points of network failure. Fortunately, there has been major advancements in intelligent network management, advancements that not only simplify monitoring and management, but provide expedited planning, analytics, and automation tools that can save network operators substantial amounts of time and money. We're going to learn all about it on this episode. Let's get started. Our guest on today's show is Noam Moray, Product Line Manager for Software Applications at Saragon. Noam, thanks for joining us. Jeremy, thanks for having me. Excellent. So I thought we would start with that old saying, necessity is the mother of invention. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about the network challenges that you and the team saw necessitating these new management technologies that we're going to discuss today. It, it really all starts with, with the shortage of, of a skilled engineer. Don't get me wrong. The engineers that are around are incredibly talented with lots of valuable experience. There is just not enough of them. So as new engineer join teams, we want to equip them with the best tools that will help them to reduce any human error while they are gaining their experience. Right. From what I understand in terms of the amount of densification required, they're going to get a lot of experience and they're going to get it very quickly. I know uh, the number of cell sites is going to be several multiples of what it is right now. Uh, maybe you can give us some specifics on the current number of global cell sites and the target for where we expect to end up in the next few years. We are a bit less than 1 million cell sites and we are going to increase to more than 6 million cell sites in the year of 2027. That's incredible. If we are thinking about all the new links that are being added, it introduces an enormous amount of additional data as well. Well, that data can be seen as a problem. Most of our customers see it as a problem and an overhead, or it can represent an enormous potential. So in my perspective, the challenge is the traditional NMS is limited to monitoring and has no predictive capabilities. All right. So those are the existing challenges. We've got uh, millions of new cell sites that need to be added. Uh, that creates mountains of data for network operation centers to manage. Plus, there's the shortage of uh, skilled personnel and the challenge with onboarding new personnel as uh, efficiently as possible. What about disaggregation? How did the team address open network architecture? One of our main focus in our uh, Silicon Insight solution is the open multi-vendor network that are much more common today. Being able to seamlessly provide communication and control is a must. We talked about the capacity, right, Jamie? So the demand for the capacity continues to grow. We want to provide our customers with all the best tools they will need to meet those demands. OK, so we've covered all of the legacy challenges. We talked a little bit about uh, multi-vendor network management. I see those as all of the must-have features and functionality for any new network management software. But I know that you and the rest of the team would not be satisfied stopping there. And I'm, in fact, I'm guessing that's kind of just where the fun begins in terms of capabilities. How did you and the Saragon team take things to the next level? So, Jeremy, you're so right. That is where the fun begins. We are going to be a vendor agnostic by complying with, of course, with the industry standards. We already have a very, very good planning and provisioning tool, which um, simplifies the on-site installation. We are talking about configuration and even maintenance for uh, our uh, customer. We now have a powerful analytic tool. Now, this is fun. The advanced analytic tool predicts and provides proactive analysis of potential issues before they even occur. This makes it easy for the customer to identify and quickly address network PMs, alarms, and even trends in the network. OK. So the concept sounds remarkably powerful. Can you give us some uh, real-world concrete ideas of how it would work? Yeah, sure. So just imagine that you have a tool 
that on one side can monitor and analyze your network, and on the other side can generate a proactive action. But it's much more. The customer now has the power to self-define and automated use cases that will allow him to monitor every status, to define any threshold, to create any policy according to his needs. It's easy to see the enormous potential for increases in operational efficiency, certainly cost savings, and even uh, automating network resources. I'm curious to know, have you heard from some of the early customers? What are they saying about the automation tools? How are they using them? What sort of uh, benefits are they seeing? One of the best examples for our uh, use case approach is, is, take example, to monitor the radio throughput and then proactively mute or disable unneeded radio carriers. This creates a massive potential for cost saving and increased energy, energy efficiency. We know that today the, the price of the energy is very high. Our goal is to provide cost saving in every aspect of the network management solution. Sustainability, energy cost cutting, great examples. I think the cost of energy is top of mind for every operator in CSP right now. Any opportunity to cut energy costs in OPEX will be a welcome relief. And obviously, the uh, predictive and preventative maintenance capabilities that AI enables opens near limitless possibilities for automating network management and maintenance. Noam, I am sure you guys are very proud of what you've created and Rightfully so, it sounds like Saragon Insight will uh, really revolutionize how network operators plan, monitor, and manage their networks. For people who want to know more, what's the best way to get in touch with you? First, they can contact me on, on LinkedIn, Noah Mori, um, 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 or visit us on the website. We have a new section for our Saragon Insight uh, solution, or even reach out to the, your local Saragon representative. Thanks again to our guest today, Noel Moray, and thanks to all of you for watching. Until next time, I'm Jeremy Ladner.